We are Dee and Allie. Come along and join us aboard Journey. Oh, oh yeah, seasons change. No promise of tomorrow, but that's okay. Just live in the moment day by day. We headed out of Savannah on a busy Sunday morning and passed two lighthouses. First, the Coxburgh Island Lighthouse, and then just off the coastline, the Tybee Island Lighthouse. The cargo ships were just getting too close, and we headed out of the channel as soon as we could to get out of their path. And once again, the pelicans dropped by to see if we were fishing, and once again, we disappointed them. It was a short trip up to Port Royal Sound as we headed into Buford, South Carolina to anchor. We specifically chose this entrance to pass by Paris Island, which holds just a few memories for Dee. Paris Island is a Marine Corps training depot, and the only other one is in California. Dee's journey began on a bus ride at night because everyone arrives at night and stands on the yellow footprints. Dee spent his three months from January 5, 1985 to March 28, 1985. He was in the 2nd Battalion of 3 and Platoon 2020. He describes it as a tearing down and building up of both mind and body. It was definitely a life-changing experience to earn the title of Marine. He is forever in a brotherhood of long history. After passing through the Paris Island area, we began to spot some beautiful homes and our first view of Buford, South Carolina. We chose to anchor in Factory Creek across from the town, and our friends from Liberty saw us on Nebo while they were over in town and decided to join us in our anchorage. This was the beginning of weeks of traveling, laughing, and breaking bread together. The next morning, we all took our bikes ashore and were off to explore Buford, South Carolina and the beautiful homes and history of this area. We were able to get some pictures of the house in the movie The Big Chill, and we'll later get another view from the water when we head out of Buford. We ended our ride and tour with a walk and rest along the boardwalk. As we headed back to our boats, we caught sight of some dolphins with their young. We read that this area was a nursery for young dolphins, and we enjoyed watching them many times a few days we were here somewhere. This was a great anchorage with some really friendly neighbors. Liberté headed out ahead of us as we knew we would catch them somewhere along the way. They also had planned a detour for some fresh seafood. As we were leaving the area, we passed the Marine Corps Air Station Buford at Merritt Field, and the boys were practicing.
We finally caught Liberté and spotted some more military activity and another bald eagle just hanging out. Not far from our anchorage just south of Charleston in Church Creek, we passed this house, famous from a Nicholas Sparks movie, The Notebook. Super excited to have found this gem. We anchored just in time before this storm hit. Liberty had to pull over and drop their anchor as this passed, but they did arrive before the sunset, and the sunset did not disappoint. The next morning we were out early as we had reservations in Charleston, South Carolina for a week. Liberday would not join us until the next day at the Maritime Marina. A few shots as we head into Charleston Harbor and see this beautiful city from the water. Enjoy! Living in the moment, capturing enjoyment. Oh, we are living in the moment, life full enjoyment. 